Good morning folks, it is Monday morning and we are going to come together this morning again to read one of the Psalms, Psalm 12. As we do so, just to be reminded, remember I said that the Psalms are like a snapshot in time of what's going on at the time whenever they're written. They're also a, an outpouring of emotions um, from the, the writer. So that's what we hear this morning as we come to read Psalm 12. Help, O Lord, for the godly are fast disappearing. The faithful have vanished from the earth. Neighbours lie to each other, speaking with flattering lips and deceitful hearts. May the Lord cut off their flattering lips and silence their boastful tongues. They say, we will lie to our heart's content. Our lips are our own, who can stop us? The Lord replies, I have seen violence done to the helpless, and I have heard the groans of the poor. Now I will rise up to rescue them, as they have longed for me to do. The Lord's promises are pure, like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. Therefore, Lord, we know that you will protect the oppressed, preserving them forever from this lying generation. Even though the wicked strut about, and the evil is praised throughout the land. Amen. You can see that it really is a psalm full of emotion, full of crying out to God. Um, it shows what society is like at that time, how, as you, as you read in different places, other places of the, the, the Old Testament, how society is as in a downward spiral as such. They, they keep rejecting God, they keep turning their backs on God. But there are still those faithful amongst the community who keep praying to God, who keep crying out to God, asking God to show himself and to rescue those who are there trying to do good. And the thing about it is, it says in verse 6, the Lord's promises are, pu our promises are pure, like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. It's that sense that we can trust God's promises. We can rely, rely upon God's promises. If God makes a promise, he's good for it. He won't go back on it. His word can be trusted. And that's the thing about today, even. We trust God's word. We rely upon God. Um, we, we, we are sad about what we see going on in society today. We're sad how we see people turning their backs on God. But we know God is still there. And we trust the promises from God's word whenever he says, look, I will come a time whenever I say enough is enough and I will stop it and I will call people to account. You can trust me because I am there. That's the God who we rely upon this morning. The God who we trust. The God whose promises are purer than pure silver. There's nothing wrong with them. There's no um, contamination of them in any way at all. They are pure. So let's thank God for his pureness this morning and for the fact that we can always rely upon him. Let's pause and let's pray. Father, again, at the start of another week, we come to you. We thank you again for the weekend, for being with us and looking after us. We thank you that we were able to gather and worship you, albeit in a different way, and just have that time with you. Now, Lord, as we come to Monday again, as we go back to work, maybe back to school, back to, into routine again. Lord, just help us to rely upon you. We know that we are surrounded by goodness and badness, by evil at every turn. And Lord, at times we feel downtrodden, we feel oppressed, we feel that you don't get a look in and different things. But Lord, we know that you never go away, that you're always there, because we trust your promises. Promises which are true, pure and holy. So Lord, help us this day to see you, to hold on to you. And Lord, we pray that people in this world would open their eyes and see you and trust you. So Lord, help us. As we gain, we start to, to work through what this, work, this, what this lockdown means at this time to us, how we continue life, how we look after those who are around us. Give us wisdom, give us sensibility. Help us just to be the standard that you want us to be in this world today. And go with us in everything we pray. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks folks for joining with me this morning. I trust that you have a good day and you really do know God's blessing today. So take care. God bless. See you tomorrow.